What's going on right now is that I am attempting my uh, first ever actual run in Chuck Taylor's, as you can see below. The reason I'm running in Chuck Taylor's is because I blogged about this recently, and uh, the consensus in the, among the commenters was that it was nuts, and uh, that's stupid, you can't do that, so naturally the first thing I wanted to do was to try it. I don't think it's smart. He's going to ruin his Chuck Taylors. You know, I mean, running shoes are built for running. They're built durable in the heel. They're built durable in the forefoot. He's going to take a perfectly good pair of Chuck Taylors and ruin them. You know, they also don't have any support. There's no, there's no cushioning like there is in a running shoe. It's just, it's all wrong, Brian. <laughs> These are like actual real-life minimalist sorts of shoes. Um, why, why I have these is uh, in case the, the all-star thing, the, the Chuck Taylor thing, turns out to be a disaster and uh, I wind up bleeding from my toes or something midway through the run. So these are like my spare tires. We're likely not going to be able to pause much or at all because Warren has to be back by one. That's fine. All right, let's go. God. No, just kidding, just kidding. It's perfectly fine. I mean, <laughs> granted, less than, a mile into the run. less than a mile into the run is pretty good. I think the follow-up to this is tomorrow. Yes. Ah. Lesson number one is double knot, I guess. Because there's no stretch in the laces. Although that says more about the laces than about the shoes. Right? Yeah, it's, it's a lace issue. So there's no... Running shoes have stretch in the laces, so they stay tied. That's fascinating, Warren. I gotta tell you, again, um, again, all kidding aside, I keep kind of forgetting that I'm wearing them, to be honest. Not that I'm wearing shoes, that I'm wearing these shoes. Because I just feel like I'm out for a run, apart from the camera crew. Alright, let me see the bottom. Oh, the shoes. The shoes. <laughs> you think there's gonna, after four miles, it's gonna be visibly. What were you expecting, dude? Well, look at that. These are old shoes. What's oh, I point? didn't look at them before, but look at the. I mean, this this is gonna wear. There's stitching coming. shoes. Stitching's coming up right there. Well, good Things thing the gonna... soles are so thick. <laughs> I can afford to lose some, right? Value for your money. <clears throat> yeah, this right. is the outer is gonna come off. To whack in the ankle. Again, this is all speculation. How do you know? Keep running them. Prove Maybe you. I will. Maybe you will. Fine. Challenge gone down. All right. Honestly, I, I, I mean, I, I feel perfectly fine. The run went perfectly fine. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, if I ran 50 miles, the next 50 miles of running in them, I strongly suspect I'd still be fine. Um, but uh, I'm not sure I really care enough to, to pursue that, to be honest. Um, you know, my, my larger point, which uh, was the point all along, was that um, I don't think it's the craziest notion in the world to think that you could run in Chuck Taylor's. Um, so, take that, doubters. We'll see. Peace out.